So what we're going to now do is look about extending calculus and kinematics to two dimensions. Now we're used to looking at SUVA with two dimensions, so it seems reasonable that we can extend uh, the calculus element where we've got variable acceleration into two dimensions as well. Okay. So what we've had is that uh, ds by dt, differentiating the displacement, has got me to the velocity. And differentiating the velocity has got me to the acceleration. So it seems reasonable that I can now differentiate a vector of displacement, and I get a vector for the velocity, and I can differentiate the velocity vector and get the acceleration vector. And how that's going to work is I'm going to differentiate the uh, different components separately. So I have an I component and a J component. So I can differentiate the I and then differentiate the J. Okay. Now, um, the coefficient of the I and the J. Okay. So the actual I and the J will remain fixed where they are. You just differentiate the, what's inside the bracket. So, for example, if uh, the displacement was something like uh, 2t plus 1i and uh, t squared minus 3j, then you would be able to work out the velocity by differentiating what's in front of the i uh, with respect to t. So that's 2, so 2i. And t squared minus 3 would differentiate to 2t, and that would be j. And so this would be metres, and this would be metres per second. OK, so that's how we're going to go about that. Now, in order to reverse the process, we're going to integrate, of course. And so we're going to have that the integral of v dt is equal to the displacement, okay? Oh, sorry, I'll just pop that there, plus some constant c. So when we go into vectors, okay, the velocity will integrate to a displacement vector, but then the constant of integration, okay, will also be a vector, okay? We're not going to just going to have um, uh, something i plus something j plus something else that is dimensionless on the end, okay? We can't have that. So the C itself has got to be a vector, okay? So you can split that into a component form and have a C1i. So we could split that into C1i plus C2j, okay? And then, of course, in a similar way, if we integrate the acceleration, then we're going to get the velocity, okay? And in doing so, we may want to set up a separate uh, constant, let's say k, which may well have component form k1i plus k2j. Okay, so this is how we're going to extend calculus and kinematics to look at two-dimensional problems.